In this video, I will show you how to make glass marbles like this one in Blender in just a few minutes. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by adding a subdivision surface modifier to the cube. And then we can apply the modifier. And we're then going to go into edit mode and then turn this into a perfect sphere. So we'll press Shift, Alt, S, and then 1. And then we have the perfect sphere. And as you can see on top, there are no lines. We can, however, make the sphere smoother. So let's add a subdivision surface modifier. And then we can add a solidify modifier as well to make it a solid glass ball. So let's go into wireframe view. And press number one for front view so that we can see the thickness and then i'm going to increase the thickness until it goes all the way down to the middle and then once it's uh, close to the middle we can go to the next step which is of course to save the project so go to file save as and then I'm just going to call it Toot. You can save it where we want on the computer. And then press Enter to save. And then next, we're going to go into Preferences. Then we're going to add an add-on called Extra Objects Add Curve, which is an add-on which is included for free in Blender. So you just need to search it up. And then we can press Shift A. Then go to Curve. And then Curve Spirals and then torus. And then for the curve spiral settings, you can just play around with the values. And you can of course just use the values that I input into the different variables. So make sure to add a lot of turns and of course a lot of steps to increase the uh, number of vertices for the curve. And then I just added some arbitrary values for the radius, the uh, torus radius, and so on, until it looked cool. So I think this looks nice. And then we just need to scale it down to fit inside the uh, sphere. So press S to scale it down. And then press S, then set to scale it on the Z axis. And then next, we can rotate the spiral. So press R twice to rotate the spiral freely. And then press Ctrl Shift S to create another save. And then we need to add another curve to turn the spiral into a mesh. So press Shift A. And then select the circle curve. And then press G, then Shift Z to move it on the X and Y axis. And then S to scale it down. And then we select the spiral go into the curve settings, geometry, go to your bevel objects, and then select the Bezier circle. And then we can change the thickness of the spiral by selecting the Bezier circle, and then S to scale. And then you can adjust the scale of the circle until you like the look of the spiral. And then let's say one more time, and then next, we're going to convert the spiral into a mesh. So select the spiral, then go to Objects, Convert, and then Convert to Mesh. And when you press Tab to go into Edit Mode, you can see that this is now a mesh. And then next, we're going to add a Subdivision Surface Modifier to increase the number of polygons and make it smoother. And then say one more time, in case something crashes, and then when we go into rendered view, you can see that we still need the materials. And I'm going to use cycles in this tutorial. And then if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. And then I'm going to set the number of samples to a thousand to make the render look good. Because we're only going to render a still image. At least I am. And then we're going to add a glass material for the sphere. Set the roughness to zero, so that you can see straight through it. And then next, 
to improve the look of the glass. I'm going to add a background image, open, and I'm going to provide links to your free background images in the description. And even though we want the adding of the background image, we do not want to see the background image in the render. So let's turn on transparent background and transparent glass as well, so that the background is barely visible in the glass. And by adding shade smooth as well, you can see that the shading of the glass looks much smoother. Okay. And then I'm going to delete the light. So press X to delete. We can just use the background image as light. And then let's add a plane. Press G and set to grab it on the z-axis. And then S to scale. And then I'm going to add a simple dark glossy material for the floor. So something like this. And then next we need to add a material for the spiral as well. And then to make it look extra cool, I'm going to add an emission shader. And then you can of course add whatever color you want. I'm going to give it a blue color and then you can increase the strength of the emission as well. And then you can just duplicate it and rotate it if you want more of them. 